magic book to see what we can see. Let's go to the magic book, the magic book, the magic book. Let's go to the magic book to be what we can be. Jump into the pages, come to magic lands. Jump into the pages, everyone hold hands. Dinosaurs and princesses, snakes and butterflies. There is a character of every shape and size. Story Lady will tell you a tale of every kind, starting with the word of once upon a time. Let's go to the magic book, the magic book, the magic book. Let's go to the magic book to see what we can see. Let's go to the magic book, the magic book, the magic book. Let's go to the magic book to be what we can be. Oh my goodness, what is going on here, everyone? Well, Professor Stripes is just saying I'm sorry. Oh, Professor Stripes, that's wonderful. That's a very hard word to say. Well, hello, boys and girls and children of all different ages. Today, we are actually going to do a book about saying I'm sorry. Oh, oh, Story Lady, that's wonderful. Would you like to go and get our book for us today? Bunny loves to go get the book. And I know all of you are going to love reading this story today. It's one of my very favorite ones. <gasps> Would you like to help us? Oh, yes, I would love to. Today's story is called The Hardest Word, and it is a story about Yom Kippur. And I am going to ask my good friend, Professor Stripes, to come up and tell us what that is. Why, thank you, Bunny. Yom Kippur is a very special holiday. It is a holiday where we are um, given the opportunity to say, I'm sorry, and start the new year all fresh. Oh, that was a wonderful explanation, Professor Stripes. Now, Bunny, would you like to go to your story listening place? Yep. And what about you, Professor Stripes? But before we get started with that, how about we all do our favorite magic words to start a story? Once upon a time. Okay, so Bunny's going to hop into his basket, hop, 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 and go right by Donald the dragon. Don't push him over. You're going to have to say you're sorry. And Professor Stripes, are you ready to go back over here? Oh, wonderful. I'm going to put the book right here so we can get ready to read our story. And Professor Stripes is going to go into his brand new story listening place so that we can get ready to read our wonderful book called The Hardest Words, a Yom Kippur story. And it is written by Jacqueline Jules and illustrated by Catherine Janice Kahn. And it is about one of my very favorite characters, the Ziz. And here is the Z, because Ziz starts with a Z. The Ziz was a huge bird, and when he spread his big wings, sometimes it was so, so big that he would block the sun. And every time that he would fly over a town and his wings would block the sun, all of the children would stop playing, and they would think that the rain was coming. Oh, and that made the Ziz feel very, very sorry, because he did not want to ruin their playtime. So the Ziz started flying up in the night sky when no one would notice that he would cover up the sun. And he flew and flew and flew all around until one night the Ziz was so big that he knocked a star to the ground. <gasps> Sizzle, snap, bang. <gasps> the star fell out of the sky and down to the earth where it made a large hole in the ground. <gasps> oh no. The next morning when the Ziz saw the big hole, he was worried. What can I do? What can I do to cover the hole? He thought and he thought about it for a while and then the Ziz came up with a wonderful idea. He stretched out his beautiful huge wings and he went back up to the sky. This time he knocked down a cloud. <laughs> there we go. The cloud was full of rain and it filled that big dark hole full of lovely fresh water. Now the big hole was a beautiful lovely pond perfect for swimming and playing. Well, all of the children came, and every time they came, they were laugh and play on the sunny days. <laughs> that mistake is all fixed, said the Ziz. 
Well, one, one day, however, the Ziz made a mistake that he couldn't fix. He was flying around the forest. It was about a week before Yom Kippur, and he was flying so fast, and he wasn't watching where he was going. And so he knocked over a tree, and then that tree knocked over another tree, and then that tree knocked over another tree, and then those trees went smash, squash, oops. Oh, no. The Ziz covered his eyes with his big wings. Not the vegetable garden. It belongs to the children. The Ziz screamed and he uncovered his eyes and then he looked at the damage. Oh no, the tomatoes, the corn, the pumpkins, the beets, the squash, the carrots. All of the vegetables that the children had planted were smashed into bits. The Ziz felt very, very bad. <sighs> I can't knock down a cloud to fix this, the Ziz thought. The Ziz flew home, and he sat in his own garden to think about what he could do to fix it. Hmm. Well, every year he harvested fruits and vegetables from his garden. <sighs> and he thought about the children. What were they going to harvest this year? How could he fix this problem? What were the children going to do? Well, the Ziz spread out his wings, and he flew off to have a chat with God. The Ziz had a very special place where he liked to talk to God. It was called Mount Sinai. And he sat on Mount Sinai, and he waited. He waited to talk to God. beautiful place. What have you done this time? A voice asked him. This was not the first time that the Ziz had come and sat on Mount Sinai to talk to God. Well, I knocked over a big tree and then that knocked over another tree and then that tree smashed a garden and not just any garden. <gasps> the children's garden? Asked God. Yes, the children's garden. And I can't knock a cloud out of the sky to make this better. No, you can't, said God. Well, what should I do? Asked the Ziz. I want you to do something. Something for me, God said. Oh, I will do anything, said the Ziz. I want you to search over the whole earth, and I want you to find the hardest word. The hardest word, the Ziz asked. Yes, yes, now go. And so the Ziz stretched his beautiful big wings and he went off to search for the hardest word. He flew over mountains, he flew over trees, he flew over valleys and he flew over seas. Flip flap, I'm the biggest bird. Flip flap, I'm looking for the hardest word. Well, after searching for a whole day, the Ziz stopped to rest at the end of a forest and there was a little house. And he heard a mother telling her little child to go to bed. I don't want to go to bed, said the little boy to the mother. Well, you must go to bed, the mother said. Well, I'm not tired, said the child. Good night, said the mother. And she closed the door and blew him a kiss. Well, the Ziz thought that must be the hardest word. Good night. And so the Ziz went on a journey back to Mount Sinai. He said, I found it. I found the hardest word. The hardest word is good night. No, that is not the hardest word. It is a hard word for children when they have to go to bed. But it is not the hardest word. Now, I need you to go back out and find the hardest word. And so the Ziz stretched his great big wings and maybe you could say this with me. He flew over mountains, he flew over trees, he flew over valleys, and he flew over seas. Flip flap, I'm the biggest bird, flip flap. I'm gonna find the hardest word. Well, after searching all day, the Ziz stopped at a great big feast. It was right in front of the castle and he listened to what was going on. And this little child said, I'm hungry. Can I have some biscotti? <laughs> the mother smiled. Oh, that's a hard word. You mean spaghetti. 
Oh, oh, that's it. The zoo says it. That's got to be the hardest word. And so, where do you think he went? Can you say it with me? He flew over mountains, he flew over seas, he flew over valleys, he flew over trees. He spread his great big wings and he flew back up to Mount Sinai and he planted his bird feet on the mountain and he placed his purple feathers into heaven and he says, I know the hardest word now. What is it? It's spaghetti. Hmm. Spaghetti is a hard word, God said, but that is not the hardest word. I need you to go find the hardest word. Okay, well, the Ziz stretched out his big wings and he went back on his search for the hardest word. He flew over mountains, he flew over trees, he flew over valleys, and he flew over seas. Flip flop, I'm the biggest bird. Flip flop, I'm looking for the hardest word. The Ziz searched for three more days. He brought back all sorts of words. Something like rock and uh, rumpelstiltskin and rhinoceros and ridiculous. All sorts of words that were very, very hard to say. But they were not the hardest word. <gasps> He tried everything. He tried ridiculous and rhinoceros and elephant and conscience and plant and pinnacle and ghost and wrong and lost and naughty. So many words. And finally, he had run out of words. In the evening of Yom Kippur, the Ziz went back to Mount Sinai. He was tired. And God said, what word did you bring me this time? And the Ziz just looked sad and he hung his head down. No word. No word? No, the Ziz said sadly. I have come to say I'm sorry. I can't find the hardest word. <gasps> you can't? God asked. No, the Ziz shook his head. I'm sorry. <gasps> Good job, said God. You found the hardest word. I did? Now the Ziz was confused. Yes, God said, the hardest word is sorry. Well, all the words that you brought me were hard to say. Saying I'm sorry is the hardest word to say. I always say I'm sorry on Yom Kippur, the Ziz said. Well, you should say it at all other times as well. God answered, Oh, like when I smashed the garden? <laughs> exactly, God said. That's right. And the Ziz thanked God, and he pulled up his purple feathers, and he flew back down to his very own garden. And on the way, he filled up a beautiful basket full of all sorts of vegetables, because he was going to go say something very special to the children. He went and he said, I'm sorry, and he shared his basket, and with that, the Ziz learned the hardest word to say, I'm sorry, and that is our wonderful, wonderful Yom Kippur story. Thank you so much for listening. Now, should we go check out and see what Bunny and Mr. Professor Stripes thought about our story today? Well, everyone, are you all ready to see what all my friends thought of our very awesome book today, The Hardest Word? So, Bunny, what do you think? Oh, oh, Story Lady, I thought that was the best book I've ever heard, and it has a lot of wisdom in it. Wow, Bunny, you are really being kind of grown up and smart these days. Don't grow up too fast now. And what about you, Professor Stripes? Oh, yes, Story Lady, I think that that was one of the best books that I read. And even though it was a story that was written for Yom Kippur, I think it has a universal meeting. A universal meeting? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant universal meaning. Oh, we all make mistakes. That's right. We all make mistakes. But we always have the chance and the choice to say, I'm sorry. I am so excited. Maybe now we can all celebrate and share some of the cookies from Grandma's cookie jar. Are you ready? Oh, yes, yeah, Story Lady. I just love cookies especially carrot cookies. Now, Professor Stripes, would you like to go get the book, uh, the um, cookie jar? It's over by the book. Okay, here we go. 
gonna get the help Professor Stripes get the cookie jar. We're gonna bring it over. I made some special, special cookies today. Uh-oh, that doesn't look like a cookie. What is that? I do believe that is a blue bunny. Oh, Benjamin Bunny. What were you doing in the cookie jar? Uh, Benjamin Bunny, did you eat all the cookies that I made for everybody? Do you have anything to say for yourself? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I guess somebody was listening even from inside the cookie jar. I have an idea. Don't worry, Bunny. Don't worry, all my friends. We can always make more cookies. And we can always say, I'm sorry. When any time you do something wrong or you've hurt someone's feelings, don't hesitate to take responsibility for your actions and say, I'm sorry. Thank you all so much for joining us today. We'll see you again very soon. Farewell, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Hi, everybody. I hope you liked today's story. Don't forget to press the like button. And the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the little bell so you can be notified for our next video. Thanks for coming.